Our next guest has been involved in a startup business based on the three pillars of a holistic health clinic, a training academy and also a distribution centre for trained health practitioners in both Australia and New Zealand. During COVID, Clusey Enterprises has had mixed results for the three pillars where clinic has survived, the academy has pivoted and distributed pillar crashed and also burned as well here to talk to us what that means for business, what we can learn from it all. CEO Claire Dunkley joins us. Thanks so much for your time, Claire, finding the time to join us now and you're coming all the way from the Sunshine Coast. Having me, yes, it's beautiful up here <laughs> and luckily for us, we uh, are not in the same restrictions as our friends down south. So Yeah, it's good. don't rub it in for us Melburnians right <laughs> now where it's about one degree and usually we'd all be heading up there, of course. Um, talk to us about how your business dealt with COVID-19 pandemic. First, how it impacted the business. Yeah, well, um, the clinic that I run, the health clinic itself, it boomed. I um, have more clients come through the door than I have ever in the three years we've been running. Um, I don't know, it's a combination of people wanting to get out of the house, I guess, and to try something different um, that was, you know, uh, not a traditional health modality. We also train health professionals in how to use our particular medical devices, and we were able to move all the theory online. So that sort of cut the course face-to-face -face down um, to two days, but with social distancing still able to happen in a, in a big clinic, we were still able to teach them so they could then take the medical devices into their clinics. But with New Zealand, we distribute the medical devices there. They went into full lockdown, so the distribution arm, um, we were no longer distributing to New Zealand, and then when they reopened, wow. Australia Post wasn't coping. So. Yeah, things How do you on that deal with side all of the... this uncertainty, would you say, in your business? Because um, no one knows what's going to happen next. We look at Melbourne, we're all expecting to come out of this. And as the other states have as well, we have a look at New Zealand, as you mentioned. You have this innovative medical product. Um, but talk to us how, I guess, the lockdowns and the uncertainty really impacted your the way you think. Yeah, well, yeah, as I said, moving our theory-based um, academy online, it cuts down, you know, our overheads as well. Like, I can just do the course once and then it's available until we upgrade the information. Um, I also found that um, with the clinic, people were coming in to um, get healthier so then they could avoid um, being exposed to COVID in a way. Um, and how it impacted us... I just, yeah, I, um, I found a lot more become, people becoming a little bit more mentally health focused during this right. time as well with just the isolation. And what do you mean by that? Well, people were, especially the elderly, they were very isolated. Uh, you know, nobody was allowed to visit them if they were in homes or if they were in retirement villages, they were completely shut down. So no family could come. They weren't allowed out of the house unless it was for essential services. They got lonely, um, and um, it, they just, you know, it's, you know, their life slows down so dramatically anyway. And then I just, I've been finding with my elderly clients, they came for connection more than anything else because they were pretty lonely and still are. Now we talk about these medical devices um, and the fact that they're revolutionary. How so? Yeah, well, they are, they're like nothing else I've ever seen in my 30 years in the health industry. They reset the body's nervous system to function the way it should before we get our insults, whether it's from viruses, toxins, injuries. The messages that the brain is then sending to the particular body part slows, and then we end up, you know, 10 years down the line with significant disease and injury. These medical devices, which look like a 20-cent piece sticker, they are embedded with frequencies that reset the brain's messaging, then the body does what it does best itself. So it's kind of like mm. taking your car in for a reboot um, of the battery. Wow, and so how does it help yeah. in terms of COVID? Well, we have uh, amazing ability to build people's immune systems. We have in Spain where COVID was rife, where the inventor of our technology is, he was using it in hospitals and with sick clients to stop the, slow down the, de the, um, the degeneration of lung um, defects from the COVID, to build people's immune systems to help them get over the virus quicker by giving the body the right information to fight. And that was around the world. There's thousands of therapists around the world using these medical devices. A lot of them in America got exposed to COVID, were able to get over it very quickly and have no long-term health effects from that.
Yeah, wow. And so how many people are we talking about when it comes to success stories and things like that? Because I mean, obviously, we talk about great things happening. There are people who are always a little bit skeptical. Just give us an idea of um, the people and some of the success stories. Yeah, well, personally, in my clinic, in I think a thousand clients I've treated since I started, I think 95% of them have got their quality of life back, whether they came in with debilitating back pain, and they were on narcotic medications, couldn't work, couldn't play with their kids, couldn't get off the couch. After five to six treatments, they are now living their full life off medication, off surgery waiting lists. Um, I have people with, um, they've come in with thyroid dysfunction, for example, who didn't have the energy to get off the couch and play with their kids. They now are living a full life. People that um, are immun immunocompromised, so they are very susceptible to things like the COVID virus they have managed to get their immune systems rebuilt over time using these medical devices so they're no longer in the susceptible group. And there's right. yeah, thousands of people around the world as well. Claire, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thanks, Aaron. Have a good one. Bye.